Hello and welcome. Today we will be dismantling a Peugeot 388 T8 door. I will be removing all the components of the door. You do not have to do all of this if you need to change a specific part. For example, you can only use the part of the video where I remove the door actuator if you need to change the door lock. This is one of our doors. The one I will be working on is the left rear door for today. The process of Removing components of a door are applicable to most makes and models. They all have the general idea, same components. You'd have the door trim, the door handles, the window switch, the window regulator, window door lock, etc. Now, we'll be removing the Torx screws, which are, I believe, T20 Torx that are all over, all around the door trim, the inner door trim. Now, we'll be removing the small cover that covers a screw on the window switch. If you're going to reuse these items, do be gentle. Uh, you do not want to scratch or damage any of these parts. Now we'll remove the last torque screw, which is on the window switch. I would advise using plastic tools to remove these items. So next we'll use our plastic clip remover to remove the window switch and then unplug the window switch. Next, we'll be removing the door handle surround, which is just held on by clips. I use the metal flathead scru screwdriver, but I'd recommend plastic. These are held on by clips, so be gentle if you do not want to break them. This is the more important part of the process. The only thing that holds the door trim is onto the door shell is clips on the inside of the door trim. For this part, I would use plastic tools to open up space so uh, my fingers can fit between the door shell and the trim and finally I will pull off the door trim the clips on the inside might break or might not break it just it's one of those things it's hard to do as you can see pulling them apart You pull the bottom up, uh, out of the door, and then slide it upwards to dis uh, detach the door trim from the door shell. And these are the white clips all over the inside of the door trim. As you can see, one of them has sat on the door shell. If you're going to refit this, any of the clips that remain on the door shell, I would take them out of the door shell and put them onto the door trim because it's a slide in on the door trim process and it's when you're fitting back on it just makes it so much easier I'll quickly show you how to refit the door trim so have all the clips on the door trim put the top of slide it slide the top of the door trim in first and then push it onto the door shell so slide it in once that's in position if the clips are on the door trim as well, this will just make it a push on deal and be much more easier. Next we have the sound cover. With a, um, I'll just cut that out gently but if you're going to reuse it for me because this door is going to be thrown out, I just ripped it off. But take that out properly next the important part is you need to if you're going to change the window regulator it's attached to the window with torque screws and you'll need to have the window in a down position to have access to these screws or else you're not going to have access so if your window regulator is not working you would need to somehow manually force it a bit down without breaking the window to a position where you have access to the screws <coughs> over here I'm just removing the inner cover that has a screw for the window regulator one one there's a total of three of these they're 10 millimeters we're going to detach the window from the window regulator i think this was a 25 torx there's two of these and once you detach these screws the window regulator and the window 
are separated. If you're going to change the door lock actuator, you do not have to do this. Just skip to the part of the video where I'm removing the door lock. But I'm just removing all the components of the door one by one for you guys. Next, unplug the window regulator and with a 10 millimeter and with a 10 millimeter just remove the three bolts for the window regulator and that will be completely off the vehicle and you can see the window regulator is off the vehicle I mean off the door next we'll remove the door handle be gentle with this part as these clips easily break gently push that one and then pull the cable for the door handle off I'd be very cautious in this part because these clips really do break very easily they almost look for a reason to break without you doing anything that's why I'll be take my time doing this one Next, we'll be removing the guide rails for the door window. They're on either side. This one has two 10 millimeter bolts, so we can remove the door window. So that's one of the guide rails over here. And then we'll remove the one on the other side. This one has two 10 millimeter bolts and it has one torque screw. So we'll remove the torque screw and that will be out as well and then we can wriggle out our door window. I don't see why you would need to remove the door window unless it was broken but I'm just showing you this is how we do it because I operate as a wrecker and to sell these windows I need to remove them from doors and vehicles so this is the process that I'll go go through with these now that our window is out next up I will be removing the door lock actuator first there will be you don't necessarily need to do this to remove the door lock actuator this is more for the handle the outer handle with the carrier so there's a torque screw there, this holds the one of the components of the door handle in place. You do not have to do this, it just makes it easier to have access to the cables that connect the door handle to the door lock actuator. Now we unscrewed that torque screw to take out the door handle. First pull the door handle out and then slide it outwards and there's one torque screw over there. This will completely detach the door handle and the carrier from the door shell and you will see how to detach the actuator with the carrier as well. So this is now removing the door lock actuator. Remove this one, these two big, I think they were T35's torques. Once these two are removed I will take out both the carrier and the door lock together and to have access to these really you don't have to take out the door lock or the carrier but you're going to see how to detach them anyway it might be a bit of a nuisance doing this when they're both on the vehicle but with this video I think you'll have a general idea of what needs to be done so wriggling out the door lock actuator, actuator we're going to unplug it as well Now the, ca the cable or the wire that connects the door lock actuator to the carrier, it's this one and you that when it's on the vehicle it would be a bit of a nuisance to do this so that's what needs to be done or else there isn't too much to do with the door handle and the carrier and the actuator is just one of that, that cable or that wire 
connector connecting it together bonus content if you're going to change the outer door molds or if they're broken first pull off this seal cover and on the inside there'll be rivets and once these rivets are out you can take off the outer door molds this is this is on both sides as well as always thank you for watching I hope you've enjoyed the video and found it helpful don't forget to like comment and subscribe and we will see you in our upcoming videos